James again and today I'm going to be making a video on how to emulate Shenmue on a computer. This video was requested by a couple of you guys so I decided to go ahead and make this video for you. Now before we begin I will state two things. This video I will not be showing you how to download a copy of Shenmue and I will not be showing you how to download a copy of the Dreamcast BIOS. Those are two necessary things to play Shenmue on a computer. The reason why I'm not going to do that is because it is illegal in the United States. It is illegal for me to show you how to do that, it is illegal for me to show you how you can actually download it, and it is illegal for you to actually download it yourself. You're supposed to rip the BIOS from your console, but since the Dreamcast uses a lot of kind of outdated hardware, it's a little hard to do that with. Unless you have, you know, some extra hardware like an SD card ripper or something like that. Um, downloading Shenmue is considerably illegal, but I own the actual copies of the game, so for me it's more of a gray area. Uh, I do have my own rips and my own discs, but I tend to use the Xiaopeng Complete Edition because it has a couple of fixes that are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. So a couple of things we're going to need. We're going to need the Null DC emulator. We're going to need a copy of Shenmue. We're also going to need the Dreamcast BIOS, and you're going to need to have a little bit of hardware, not really hardware, but a little bit of computer knowledge because it gets a little technical, okay? Now I'm going to be showing you how to set up a standard Null DC installation uh, that uses a keyboard for input. Using a gamepad requires a couple of extra steps. And uh, since there's so many kind of gamepads out there, I won't be showing you how to do that. However, I can confirm that the version of Null DC I'm going to be showing you works pretty well with gamepads. And uh, alright, so let's begin. So, just to show you, I have a copy of Shenmue right here. This is the Shenmue Complete Edition, the Xiao Pang release. What's up, Xiao Pang? Shout out. Awesome stuff. And here we have the Dreamcast BIOS. Alright. So, first we need to go get a copy of Null DC. So open up your web browser, go to Google, and type in Null DC SMA. The second link is going to be a link to Shenmue Dojo. Uh, somebody here had made a release of Null DC with a couple of Shenmue specific fixes. So at the time of this recording, this is the best version of Shen or Null DC to get to run Shenmue. So scroll down. Uh, here we have the release page, and you're going to want to get. Um, honestly, it really doesn't matter. You can get this one, or you can get this one. I, I use this one because it has the cool Shenmue background, so go here to the download link and that's going to bring you to Mega, and at, when this gets to 100%, you can then download, click, or click download to your computer, and then, I've already done that, once that's finished, it's pretty fast, you can go ahead and take your file here which is a RAR file. Now if for some reason you can't open this RAR file like you lack the program to do it because Windows doesn't come with native RAR support from what I understand just go to Google and you can type in WinRAR or you can type in 7-zip this type Oh, anyway, it came up anyway. So those two programs will open that RAR file with no problem. So I already have WinRAR and 7-Zip installed on this machine, so I could just double click this. And then what we want to do is just drag and drop this to the desktop. Okay. Now disregard this right here. I already have it installed, but that doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Um, I already have it installed, but Null DC doesn't really need to be installed. It just runs within its own folder. Um, that that's a little kind of a stupid way to say it, but yeah, that that was just the icon for the Null DC I've installed. So here we have Null DC here. Now to actually run Null DC, we can double click this. Now it's going to say it can't find the BIOS and that it's going to exit. This is when you need the BIOS files. Now the BIOS files, I believe, go into the data folder. Yep. 
See, it even has a little text reminder to put DC boot and DC flash into this directory. So we're going to go ahead and take our BIOS files. And I'm going to take these three. Uh, these are specifically the NTSC BIOS. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop them into here. We can now close this folder and I'll just go ahead and remove it completely. All right. So now let's go back into the other, the folder that had the main program in it. And here we have null DC. Now if we run this again, now you see it loaded with no problem. Now a quick disclaimer, if you have issues actually running the program, this version of null DC requires certain what is called runtime libraries. You will have to go and scope out those runtime libraries and download them from the internet. Now, there is actually a post on that same Shenmue website. So, like I said, type in old DCSMA. There's a link here because somebody else had that problem. Now, I actually had this problem too, and I did this fix as well. See how this person had these fatal errors here? Well, somebody had found a video on YouTube. If I can actually find it. <laughs> okay, here it is. So, Zeming uh, found a video on YouTube that resolves this error. There's a little uh, all in one package you can download that contains a bunch of different binaries for Windows 7 and Windows 8. 15 minutes can see. Just pause that. There's a little download here you can download and, ins and run that program. Um, I have ran it and installed it. It seems to be virus free. However, with anything you download and install, please continue with caution. The best antivirus is your own mind. Anyway, so let's continue. So at this point, we have Null DC up and running. Now we want to configure the emulator. And to do that, we get to use these options. Okay. All of your configuration options are going to be in the options menu. So the options menu is set up pretty easily. You have video options, disk emulator options, sound options, ARM processor, uh, which is just about, Maple is your controller options, and external device is like whether you want to emulate the modem, the LAN adapter, the broadband adapter, which is the BBA. Um, so we have the video adapter, and now you can set all of your settings here for your resolution, your borders, dynamic full. Now, a lot of these settings are going to change the way Shenmue looks. So I'm not going to give you what I would believe the optimal setting is. You can just change all of these. So change the resolution to what you want. I always do highest quality. Aspect ratios, borders is just black bars around the borders, and then extra geometry is to put it into widescreen. And then you have your sound options. Um, you could just configure these to your liking. If you actually do configure them though, make sure you set this to 4096. You want the highest buffer size for the audio. So that would be the only change I really tell you to do. Now your controller, for the controller you want to go to port A, sub device 1, that will show you your VMU. Now if this menu doesn't show up, what you also want to do is go to select plugins and you'll see that you have all these random plugins. Now leave these all default, but for your maple settings make sure you select Null DC controller if you want the keyboard or Puro Puro Dreamcast controller if you want to use a gamepad. Okay? So we click OK. And Null DC just crashed. <laughs> You'll sometimes get problems like that. It's not really perfect. It probably crashed for a dumb reason. So, anyway that's how you really set up the controller so then um, actually there's one more step with this release there's a small problem so make sure you go ahead while the programs closed and delete null dc.config because the guy who released this package didn't normalize the configuration settings so we want to just regenerate that file 
and as you can see it was just regenerated with all default settings so go to options maple port a all right so to finish up the controller settings just to sum it up real fast we go to options select plugins and like I said before we're gonna to want to set it to null DC controller that's gonna give you basic keyboard support so now we go to options maple port a config keys for player one and now you see it doesn't actually crash so pretty much you just bind your key sets right here um, I like to put analog up as W analog left is A so on and so forth then you hit OK so now at this point you have your audio you have your video and you have your controller set up so now it's really just load the game and see what happens so to load the CDI file of Shenmue we go to file normal boot and then we browse for the file itself and for me and for me it's on the desktop and then we click the uh, disk right here and long and behold you now have an emulated copy of a Dreamcast game so yeah that's it now if I can actually get past this stupid menu <laughs> I don't remember which key is A at default. I'm just gonna find it. There we go. Alright, so, yep, that's it. That's how you emulate Shenmue on a computer. Uh, so, anyway, shout out to Jorio, and uh, you guys have a good day.